prioritize those five topics. If you just get those five topics done by your mocks, that's plenty. We're going to focus on the biggest topics on both papers, right? So what I'm going to cover with you, I'm going to do this one for sure. I'm also on paper M1 going to do differential calculus. They're the two big hitters. Sequence series is quite big, but all the other topics in here are quite small. Those are the two big hitters. We're going to focus on getting those two right, all right? And on paper two, I'm going to do the trigonometry and the statistics primarily, and we will get a chance to do these two as well. Now, the reason I focus on those topics is because when you get into sixth year next year, right, um, and, and start at the sixth year, almost from the beginning of sixth year, it feels, teachers begin talking to you about mock exams, your mock exams in February of sixth year. And when you come out of fifth year, you're kind of saying, God, I've got a lot of maths done here. I'm going to be doing more maths now. How am I going to get it all done for my mocks? What I would try to do when I'm, next year when you start revising is prioritize those five topics. If you just get those five topics done by your mocks, that's plenty. Because you'll be able to answer a big chunk of both papers there. And if you can get to your mocks and say, look, I've got those ones in the bag, the other topics that are floating around there are much smaller and easy to take out in revision terms when you get the other side of your mocks. So I prioritize these in fifth year because if we can cover these in detail in fifth year, at the end of fifth year, if you kind of feel those topics are okay, I feel okay about those. If I can just revise those and get those nailed down by my mocks in February of sixth year, I'm in business.